I have called you this afternoon as co-partners, not only in our committee's proceedings, but as constitutionally empowered workers slash servants in the vineyard of constitutional democracy to express our concern and display you at the attitude of some MDS and their CEOs towards our invitations to defend the audit queries raised against them in the Auditor General's annual report for the year ended 31st December 2019. It is worthy to state that the committee commenced the consideration of the audit report in October 2023 with a view to presenting its report to the plenary. However, some agencies have willfully failed to honor invitations to defend their written responses to the audit queries as submitted to the committee secretariat. Beside the demand for submission of written responses to audit queries, part of the committee's rules of engagement requires that accounting officers attend the committee's public hearing to respond to questions arising from the analysis of their submissions, which in turn forms a basis for informed decision on the matter by the committee. Gentlemen and ladies of the press, the desire of the Public Accounts Committee to timely discharge its constitutional and legislative functions is being delayed by the evasive and negative actions of some CEOs or accounting officers of the concerned uh, MDAs. The committee is very displeased with the attitude of foot dragging by agencies who are by law expected to respond to parliamentary invitations and account for their actions. As stated earlier, the committee has over time extended invitation, invitations to those agencies providing them ample opportunities to defend their queries, but for reasons best known to them, these agencies have chosen to disregard invitations. This action by the concerned MDS impacts on the committee's calendar and plan to submit its report to Senate plenary. The concerned recalcitrant agencies include one, include but not limited to one, Office of the Accountant General of the Federation, two, Nigeria Mining Cadastral Office, three, Federal Inland Revenue Service, four, Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission, former DPR, five, Nigeria Police Force, Six, Federal Ministry of Industry, Trade and Investment. Seven, FCT Internal Revenue Service. Eight, Nigerian National Petroleum Company Limited. Ten, Nigeria Immigration Service. Eleven, Federal Ministry of Women Affairs. Twelve, Ministry of Defense. Thirteen, Nigeria Communication Satellite Limited and orders. It is on this note that we as a committee have resolved that going forward, the Senate Public Accounts Committee will go ahead to consider their audit queries as contained in the Auditor General's annual report, annual report and any MD, MDA that henceforth fails to honor invitations to respond and present its defense, the committee will adopt the position of the auditor. Also, this resolution will be added to our rules of engagement if MDS fail to improve on their attendance to invitations. That, by extension, means the committee will do the needful as provided by the rules of engagement. Nobody in this country is over the law. I mean, nobody is above the law. And whoever you are, whatever you think you are, Nigeria makes you. So you cannot be greater than Nigeria. And this is Nigeria. The National Assembly is Nigeria. We are sitting on mandate of Nigerians to protect their interest for the good of all. So from this point, any MDA that fails to appear, to respond, to invitation, to defend the queries as regards to that MDA, we will do the needful. And
of course, uh, the queries are here. For today, we are not reading the queries of the various uh, uh, MDAs, but it is important that the public knows that this is where we are. And from this point, we will call the bluff of whoever chief executive that fails to respond. We are on this side once more, sitting on position of mandate. We are not appointees. We have the mandate of Nigerians.